I'm Don, welcome to my channel. Today we paint another spell crown miniature. So I decided to face my fear and paint a lady. We have here a super nice detailed lady halfling from Spellcrow. Since we are painting over zenithal gray, we jump to old rose. Usually I paint cavalry brown or any red brown over the black primer but since we want to maximize the gray, we're painting old rose already. The old rose is darker than our desired base coat but it's not too dark, it's just near the color of our base coat. This is my first time to paint a lady miniature. It's kind of scary for me because they have to look really nice and the skin should look really smooth. Back in college, in art school, that was like two decades ago, I used to do gigs wherein I go to children's parties and I have a table and then the kids fall in line and have their caricature done by me. It's super fun until the moms start to fall in line too and you can't really mess with moms so you always have to make them look good. Imagine if you mess up the caricatures of moms, you're kinda dead. Now we paint the basic skin tone so the name implies it's the basic skin tone, this is our base color. While I was applying the base color, the basic skin tone, I'm kinda not feeling good about my painting. My layering is not doing really well with the skin tone. It's kinda rough and the contrast is like jumping from one color to the other. Considering I'm mixing the paints well and very carefully, still I'm not happy with my result so far. After around 3 layers of basic skin tone, my skin, lady skin, is looking so flat. So before moving on, I decided to use inks and washes. We use Game Flesh Wash for the shadows of the skin and also for the lips, we're using Game Ink Red. I thinned these paints around two parts washes and inks and one part water. Then I applied the flesh wash generously all over the skin. This will like introduce or make the details pop again and kinda like establish shadows around the edges of the skin and the cleavage. A generous amount of flesh wash is kinda like smoothening out my skin painting or my layering earlier. So the wash is saving me or, or kinda saving my day. After applying around two thin coats of the flesh wash and letting dry in between coats, we now apply the lipstick. We applied small amounts of the red ink around the lips and the cheeks and also the cleavage and some areas that would look nice as red like the tips of the fingers and below the knees. Now we add a bit more makeup by using blue wash. We're painting this around the nose, around the bridge of the nose and the eyelids. Our lady halfling is now looking glamorous. Now let's smoothen the skin with glaze medium. I mix around 1 to 2 parts paint and 1 part medium. Not too much medium cause it's going to be super transparent and I'm a hasty painter I don't want that. The great thing about glaze medium, unlike water, the glaze medium has a sort of like a thin paint consistency so you don't really need to add too much water already and like applying a paint consistency over the mini is a lot easier than a very runny wash like consistency. Now we apply white flesh as highlights for the skin. This paint is kind of transparent as it is. So we're not applying or adding glaze medium, just applying small amounts in some areas of the skin like the T of the face, 
like I forgot what it's called it's like the forehead and the nose and then of course the, the boobs and the knees and the legs always unload your paints on your fingers because too much paint will like produce unwanted results you'll get the hang of it of unloading paint on your fingers as you paint more fingers now we apply a bit more of the glaze medium and basic skin tone to smoothen out our highlights. So that's it for the skin painting. It's basically the washes and the inks and the glaze medium saved our day. Because my layering skill is not yet enough to produce a smooth skin tone. It took me an hour to paint the mini before the inks. So after an hour, I gave up and I decided to use the inks and washes. So it's a kind of a fail in terms of the one hour challenge, but it was fun. Now we finish painting the minis. Basically some basic layering with the hair. The scarlet color is really nice. It's orange, red orange. In a way, it's very nice for hair. Also, I did some glazing with the cloth. Also did some NMM with the axe and the usual wet brushing of the base. And it was fun. I, I was able to finish the rest of the mini for around another 3 hours. So I'm really happy with the painting of this Pelcro miniature. It's like a challenge for me because I'm not used to painting skin in general because as I've said or most likely you know I'm mostly a mecha and gunpla painter and I'm still learning a lot with the miniature stuff and it's almost always my first time whenever I paint minis like this one it's my first to paint a lady Lessons learned here use the washes and the inks to create volume with your skin painting also use the glaze medium to like for the finishing touches to polish and smoothen your skin layering that's it another addition to my spell crow collection that's it we're done i hope you like the video do like comment subscribe and Consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos! Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. I'm an affiliate painter for Redgrass Games and also the head mecha and sci-fi painter for Vallejo Colors. I write painting articles for Fine Scale Modeler Magazine. I also write articles for Fantasy Figures International Magazine. Lastly, if you're into Gunpla, do use my discount code for usagundomstore.com. Links down below.